Muhammad here, Wisdom and Golf Headquarters at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center in Toronto, Canada. And uh, today, a very important topic that we need to review on how to initiate the downswing. And, and you'll see all the colors of the rainbow on YouTube, of course. And uh, so what I'm here to do is make sure you understand what happens inside the central nervous system when you are getting ready to perform a specific task. So let's say I'm throwing a ball. Well, if I'm throwing a ball, hopefully you have a place to throw it to. I'm going to go ahead and use my keep out sign, my, my old trusty keep out sign. So my attention's on the keep out sign. I got this ball and I'm going to throw it in that direction. So for, for many of you, 99% of you, you won't have to think about how to throw, but then as you think about what you did after the fact, after a few you know, repetitions, you'll realize that the first thing it goes is the brain's got to go get the ground. The first thing that you need to do out of self-preservation is go stabilize that platform so you don't twist an ankle or break a leg. And then the body uses the ground to remove the body out of the way. So the, the left leg, if you're throwing right-handed, uses the ground to retract. So my left side gets out of the way and that propels my right side forward. So there's a very specific kinetic chain that occurs. And you'll see that in Sequence Your Sports Swing Properly in one of my videos, Sean Clement. Um, so I have a specific target that I want to go towards and I have a very specific action that I want to send to that target. Um, if you've seen my throwing the club video, you'll see how my attention's on that keep out sign. The first thing that goes, you'll, you'll really see me load the ground, which you'll also see um, Rory McIlroy and Bubba Watson and, you know, Tiger in his prime. They squat to go use the ground to remove the body. That's, that's how we function as human beings on this planet. So I'm going that way, so the brain's got to go get the ground, use the ground to get my body out of the way, and then everything can sling in that direction. But if I forget about that, because we have a backswing and a downswing or a through swing, I prefer through swing as far as the term is concerned. So you have to be able to engage yourself and pull the switch as you approach the top of the backswing. For many of you, at first, you're not used to doing that. When I'm looking down at the ball, my, my brain is used to seeing over there. It's already looking for where we're going, that keep out sign right there. That's where I'm going to release it to. So I see the keep out sign in my mind, and my brain, the first thing that happens is, yes, my backswing matches the direction I want to go. So you'll see another video of mine entitled, Stay With Your Shot, Sean Clement, okay? I have a specific target, a specific flight that I'm looking for for that target, and therefore I have a very specific release feel that I'm looking for to go in that direction. So my brain says, okay, I got my intermediate point right there. My takeaway matches the direction I want. I get to the top of the swing. The top of the back swing allows me to throw the club in that direction. This is where I need to pull that trigger throw the club in the direction of the target. So I have to stay with my target throughout the whole swing. Otherwise, I will sabotage my downswing. If that happens to be my target, you know that the best way to hit a golf ball, if the ball is your target, is by coming over the top. So if that's my target, I'm sitting here and, not, and my brain is looking for the golf ball, eventually what's going to happen is it's going to start using a more effective way of going at the golf ball. So for many of you who lift the club and the backswing too abruptly and, and not taking it low and slow, well that's because you've forgotten all about where this ball is supposed to go. You've looked at where you want it to go and say, yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like the ball to go that way, but I want to make sure I hit that ball properly. So you're getting in a, in a position where you're, you're already in a, in, a, in a predisposed setup to go that way, which is, well, if you say, okay, low and slow, hit the ball, there's your over-the-top motion. 
all right? Now, if I say, I'm going toward the right edge of that row of posters, that fits, that fits, throw the club in that direction, then I can't come over the top. Impossible for me to come over the top. If I go too far inside, well, that doesn't fit going to the right edge of those posters, so I'm already lost. I've already, I'm already unaware that I'm not staying with my target. So I stay with the target, stay with the target. Now from here, I have to really focus on throwing the energy of my swing toward the target. So if my brain is properly engaged with me throwing to the target, well, the first thing that happens to start the downswing is the weight shift. Why? Because the brain needs the pressure with the ground. It has to go pressurize the ground to use the ground to remove the body out of the way. Ask any boxer or any martial artist where they feel the power comes from in a solid punch. Well, you can stand right here and you're getting ready to send a punch in that direction. The first thing that's going to move, you're going to go from a solid right side into a a, a proper left side, and you'll feel the first thing that goes when you want to snap a punch is the weight shift. But that is not something that you need to think about. What you need to think about is the task. I want to punch that over here. I want to nail that bag over here. I want to go through that rib cage over here. So that's where I'm going to go. Now I'm going to use the ground to get my body out of the way so then my, my body can properly use the ground to retract so that I can have access to my target. This is how the human machine works. So, you can, you know, put aside the, uh, oh, I need to drop the arms, or I need to do this, I need to do that. That's body part thinking. You're in another dimension of unfortunate golf instruction, which is the positional aspect of that game. And uh, I call that the posing game or the, the, you know, the, the looking pretty game. I gotta make sure that I place my, myself in these positions that I feel I need to be in to hit the ball better. Well, it's not about hitting the ball. If you want to strike the ball really well, Towards a target, well, your attention has to be there, and then you put your prediction process in, 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 in play. So you set up and you say, okay, if I throw my energy to the target right now, I feel like I'm going to miss the ball. Yes, I'm going that way. Yes, I'm going that way. Throw that way. Yes, I delivered that way. I felt I used the ground. I felt that my body got out of the way. And I felt the energy of my swing peak in its speed out here. That's where I want to go. And yeah, I missed the ball. Perfect. So I get lower. Well, gosh, if I make the same swing that way, it feels like I cannot miss the ball. Well, I don't have to worry about the ball anymore, do I? So I'm going to stay on task. I'm going to throw this club that way toward the keep out sign. Yes, it's going there. Yes, it's going there. Throw to the keep out sign. So you'll notice if you put, you know, you, you freeze my swing as I get to the top of the backswing, you'll see this move here. <laughs> Completely out of my mind. Never thought of it, but it's what my body needs to do to throw something, to punch something, to do that kind of a task. And it doesn't matter in any sports. If I'm hitting in baseball, first thing it goes is this. You'll always see that front foot go down first so I can use the ground to get my body out of the way. It's the way we function, okay? It depends if you're, you know, if the pitch is coming in a little too fast and you got you got to hurry up and hit it, well, now you're, you're doing it in a very off-balance, offset way, okay? So I hope that helped, you know, settle things. You want to be able, so you look at my predict solid contact. That was a very, very controversial video. It ruffled a lot of feathers, but when you put it into practice, you won't believe the results. You, you won't believe how easy it is to strike a ball solid. I'm going toward the target. Target, target, throw to target. I predicted I was gonna hit that solid as I was delivering in the direction I wanted to start the ball, okay? So enjoy that. And we'll see you in the next one.